Uh, welcome to Versus 2 guys, and I'm going to be playing my boy JSAD again. And I won the first time pretty bad, uh, Rockets versus uh, Miami Heat, and I was the Rockets. This game is pro it's going to be Golden State and uh, uh, New York Knicks. He's going to be New York Knicks, I'll be Golden State. Uh, enjoy, and I'll comment on the end of the video. My friend wants me to talk with him instead of be talking into here, and then I'll have one that can you can hear him back and me. So I'll be talking to him and stuff. So I'll see you guys at the end of the video and I'll commentate about how the game went. Bye. It's an interconference contest here in the Big Apple. New York has the Knicks play one at home. And the Warriors on a single game road trip here before heading back home. And guys, this is an opponent that's given them major problems in each of the first two meetings, both losses uh, for them this season. So third time's a charm. We'll see. I'm not quite sure what they need to do differently, Steve. I know they've devoted a ton of time to film work and trying to figure out ways they can improve and change the results. Not sure what it'll be, but I think it'll be a different approach. So a look at our starting five for the Warriors brought to us tonight by State Farm. Steph Curry and Thompson manning the backcourt. He is the four with Bogut at the five beside him. And it's Barnes and at the small forward. And for the Knicks, up front, it's Carmelo Anthony and Tyson Chandler. Jason Kidd is out there with Felton. And it's Shumpert in at the three. Now here's Kidd after the miss from Stephen Curry. Here's Anthony. And Bogut sends it back. Looking at the last game for the Golden State Warriors, it was a loss to the San Antonio Spurs. Well, there was a lack of discipline on their part in that game, guys. They committed a lot of silly fouls, and it hurt them. It sure did. I mean, they just didn't seem to figure out how to defend without fouling, Steve. That was just almost hard to comprehend. Shot is no good, and it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Their last encounter was in Oakland. Here's Thompson. That's good. Guys, good job working it down low and getting the high percentage look there. That's good basketball. The three from Anthony. They get it back. Kid kicks to Chandler. It's stolen by Bogut. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Thompson with the ball. The three. The next pull it in. Kidd's got his third rebound on the night. Defeated by the Pacers in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. And Kevin, they were able to keep that game relatively close, but you could tell things were not clicking for them. Yeah, I agree with you, Steve. I mean, it could have been worse, though. I mean, they didn't look fresh at any point in the game. Just seemed to be listless. Bogut. A strong effort on the rebound. Nets the second chance points. Bogut's got his first bucket in this one. Chandler, no good. Warriors have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. And it's Thompson again missing. New York's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Open look. And Carmelo Anthony again. Anthony's got his second bucket. Soft defense right there. Way too soft. Power down with both hands. 
And you really don't want to give up too many dunks like that. One is too many. Oh, yeah. No, certainly you're right. You know, that's making it way too easy for sure. Yeah. Major breakdown defensively. They've got to tighten things up here. 152 left to play in the first quarter. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Well, Kevin, Mark Jackson gave me a couple of moments. I asked him what he thought might give them an edge going into this game. He said, well, our shot blocking is always a cornerstone for us. To have the ability to protect the rim really, I think, is invaluable. And one thing that helps set us apart on the defense end. Guys, let's see if they can lock down the paint. Doris, thank you. It'll be interesting to see how that defensive mindset serves them here in the first half. Yeah, it will be, Kevin, because if they come out uh, with the right frame of mind and they don't have much success early, you know, the game plan's going to have to change in a big hurry. And even so, Steve, I think the defensive approach Doris talked about is exactly the one they should employ. And the Warriors with some changes. Azili comes in for Andrew Bogut. And it's Rush in for Barnes. Out to Thompson. Lock at six. Fires the three. Scooped up. Second shot opportunity. And the layup is good. It's clear they had one thing on their mind when they came out of the gate today. Rebound. Yeah, and they've opened up the game with a pretty good margin in that area. Great sign for this club. Two hands for safety, one hand if you want major elevation. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. You know you can get up higher with one hand. Did you know that? I did not know that. It really is true. I mean, you can extend better with one. Well, whatever he did. Whatever, whatever it was, it definitely worked, Clark. It's a nice passing by New York here. Here's Chandler. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. I can imagine they're going to hear an earful about this next stop. I mean, that's three straight field goals given up right in the middle of the lane. Inexcusable. Now, defense starts at the rim. I mean, you want teams shooting the ball from the outside, and that's not happening. They're just giving up everything inside. Here's Curry. After the made shot from Tyson Chandler, Curry dishes to Thompson. A second chance effort. He takes it up and lays it in. Thompson's got six. And a really poor job boxing out there, guys. A momentary lapse in concentration, I think. Here's Chandler. Misses the wing jet. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. 14. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Knicks? Yeah, this team played an excellent first quarter offensively, moving the ball and getting a good flow to their offense. That's why you see those big assist totals. Yeah, very timely passing for them, Steve, and that's why they've been able to jump out to this lead. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Setting the floor for the Knicks. J.R. Smith and Mello filling out the perimeter. Stoudemire out there with Martin. Raymond Felton, he's checked in for Carmelo Anthony. Andrew Bogut, he's checked in for the Warriors. Now here is Jack. Gets it to go. Jack's got his first basket. Again, they attack the hoop from the lane. And it's been really good to him. Yeah, they're getting whatever they want down there. That's four of their last five buckets coming in the paint area. And here is Jack. Kenyon Martin getting it to go from deep moments ago. And there's the pass to Rush. Poke loose. Andre passes to Barnes. And the layup falls. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I'd keep going. Oh, oh Hammer time. Wow. Hammer time. Finishing with flavor. Yeah, he put something extra on that one. You're right. And the bench going wild, guys. They love it. What an amazing dunk. Carmelo Anthony's checked in for New York. It's three outside. They get the rebound. Lee gets to Curry. Another miss by Curry. And in rush, he's checked in for Steph Curry. The Knicks leading by five. Smith dishes to Martin. Poked away. Back to Smith. 
Stoudemire outside. Kicks it to Martin. Over Lee. And it's Martin missing. The Warriors have gone two of five in the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Takes it up. Rush gets the bucket. And all 10 of their last points have come inside the paint, so defensively you've got to make an adjustment. Yeah, and you got to do a little more to stop it, too. I mean, it's coming way too easy for them. At some points, you just got to buck up and say it's not going to happen. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That's his first foul. Tyson Chandler was checked in for New York. Come on, Shepard has come in for Kenyon Martin. Azili gets the bucket. No question, they're trying to pound the ball inside. That's five straight hoops inside. And if the D won't stop it, keep at it. I mean, those are the kind of looks you want all day long. A lot of tough teams in this league, Kevin. Here's where New York sits right now. First in three-point shooting. First in fewest turnovers per game. And they're in the top half of the league in scoring as well. Not too shabby. And you look at those numbers, and what obviously stands out is first in the league in three-point shooting. That's amazing. Uh, they've just done a nice job of spacing the floor, getting good looks for their shooters out there, and really passing the ball unselfishly. Just three to shoot. Rush from outside. Knicks with the rebound. Anthony's got four rebounds in this game. And yes, sir, that one drops. Anthony's got ten points in the game. Well, that's been nice, efficient work, guys, that he's been doing. I mean, we haven't seen him take many bad shots, and that's the sign of a mature, poised player. Timeout called the Warriors. And the Warriors with some changes. Andrew Bogut, he's checked in for Azeel. And Steph Curry is subbed in for Brandon Rush. And Curry, here we go. Back to Lee. Outside Jack. From deep. Good on the shot. Jack's got five points now in the quarter. He is really having a good quarter, a strong quarter, an efficient quarter, doing a lot of positive things out there. Curry against Smith. A baseline J. And finished off by Bogut. And that'll tie this game up. And Kevin, keep an eye tonight on how many... Oh, look out! Oh, 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 oh. Definitely showing some real sweet dunking skills here. Are you kidding me? Oh my God! What a point! Yeah, that was spectacular. Thompson with it. He's got six. Bogut kicks to Jack. A leaner, and there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Seems to be. getting better as this game goes on. The Knicks have gone 5 of 7 from the field here in the second. Here's Shumpert. And that's collected by Bogut. Bogut's got four rebounds now tonight. Curry outside. Another miss by Curry. Boy, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. And here's Anthony front. Well, after that strong start to this game, he's really picked it up here in the second. Here's Jack, and Chandler sends it back. That's a two from Smith. The shot will not go. Curry with the defensive effort. Awesome defense. I mean, he'll hit those unless you're right in his grill. Thompson with the bucket. Now there's something for the top ten highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Both teams will make substitutions. Now Curry. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Here's Azili. No good on the buzzer beater. And we're through two here in a good one. Knicks lead. Allow me to read the
the third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Carmelo Anthony really has his fingerprints all over this one. Well, we know he can score, so it's not really a huge shock to see him put up these kind of big numbers. And I would think that he most likely will continue to carry on this kind of play into the four. And Golden State looking at who they've got. Lee is the four with Bogut at the five beside him. Steph Curry and Thompson manning the backcourt. And it's Barnes in at the three slot. And that one's good. 15 points for Carmelo Anthony. Another nice move from McClaire. We've basically come to expect nothing less from. Curry can't get it to go. Well, you know what? You really expect him to knock that jumper down when he gets a good look like that. Well, not only does he excel at getting those offensive rebounds, but he's really good getting putbacks and layups off of those boards. Takes the three. They grab their own miss. Bogut the pass to Curry. Barnes, the feed to Thompson. But Trey gets the bucket. And it's a four-point Warrior lead. Just a horrible job of boxing out. Yeah, it's not hard. I mean, come on. You got to box your guy out. Right, you just see them taking it strong into the paint over and over again. Yeah, that really seems to be the strategy, partner. I mean, pound it inside. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. The Warriors shooting their first free throws here for the night. And they've made progress in that department from last season going into this one, guys. I mean, the numbers have improved. Well, Kevin, what I love about Curry is the all-around game. He's a tremendous shooter, incredible passer, and then defensively, he's opportunistic. You know, he can, he can pick off a pass and go the other way through his anticipation. And, Steve, when he gets one of those warm-up jump shots in the game, you expect it to go down. One of those great shooters who doesn't need to get into a rhythm. His shooting seems to be always ready to roll. Jared Jack has checked in for Golden State. Warriors leading by four. Thompson dishes to Bogut. Outside Jack. Jack gets a screen from Bogut. And Chandler with the block. They recover it. Tipped away. Shot clock at six. And Jack kicks to Bogut. Good, and Jack gets the assist. And it's eight points for Bogut. No question which team has been the aggressor here on the offensive glass. Yeah, Steve, I mean, an advantage in second chance points there and getting those second and third looks, a big help offensively, and it demoralizes the defense. That's three for four field goal shooting here in the third, so offensively, they're looking good. Jack with the three. Again, the miss by Jack. Still trying to get into the swing of things here offensively. It just has not happened for him here. Again, the miss by Anthony. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. As the playoffs near, let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings. Taking a look at Miami. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Now remember, he did make a three-pointer in the first half. So we'll see if he can find the range here in the second. Here's Landry. An easy two points on the layup. Landry's got his first basket of the night. Well, they keep going right back to the paint, and who can blame them? I mean, they're getting it done in there. Yeah, three of their last five buckets, guys, have come from inside the lane area, so I'd expect them to continue to go inside right at the defense. One fifty-one left in the third quarter of the game. Tipped. It's stolen by Stoudemire. Launches it. And it's Anthony again missing. And the foul on Amari Stoudemire. That is his first foul of the game. So both teams making some changes here. Thompson for the triple. Kenyon Martin comes up with the rebound. Knicks trail by six. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. And Rush kicks to Landry. The dive for the ball. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. And let's take this chance to look at some of the perimeter players who aren't afraid to mix it up in the middle either. These are the top rebounding point guards in the league. Steph Curry for it. 
This is a unique group of players. It's not often we talk about the rebound leaders at the point, but with these guys, it's warranted because of just how well they do it. You know, it definitely sets them apart from most of the other point guards in the league when you can glass eat like that. They've got a little bit of that big man attitude in them. Battling in the paint when the shot goes up and feeling like they can get some rebounds too. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Lee's got his second basket of the game. Excellent work to turn that miss into two points on the tap in. Hustle points, I believe they called them. Mm, had great instincts, too. Oh, oh look out, man. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Did you see that? Oh, we got to see that one again, guys. We got to see that yeah, again. I, I need a replay. I, I, I'm not sure what I just looked at. Tyson Chandler, who's checked in for the Warriors. Kid comes in for Raymond Felton. Here's Landry. He's on target from eight feet out. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. This team has to tighten up inside. Way too many easy hoops in the lane. Yep, that's five straight buckets they've given up from the key now, and it's, it's hurting them. Barnes passes to Kirk. Off target with his three. He's yet to make an impact from the field, but his team is taking care of business. And Carl Landry picks up the foul. That's his first foul. It's Kid with the drive. Good! Kid's got his third bucket of the night. Beautifully executed play there to get that basket. With one on the clock, and he drains it. That builds a little momentum going into the next quarter. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. The Warriors on top. They lead by 11. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. Carmelo Anthony and Amari Stoudemire, they're inside. Then there's Felton. Then there's J.R. Smith. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Knicks. Here's Jack. Can't hit. And New York the other way now. And it's Harrison Barnes with the foul. That's his first foul. And the Warriors with some changes. Landry comes in for Azili. And Steph Curry is subbed in for Barnes. Tries again. And he finishes at the rack. They've got to offer more resistance inside. Just too many easy buckets in the paint. Yeah, Steven, that's the top priority for any defense. you got to protect the paint. Way to play in attack mode and get inside. And, you know, if you're on defense and you're going to foul, make sure it's a good one. They did, preventing the and one. Both teams deciding to change it up. Good on both. Another trip to the line, and he's right on the mark. He's not a guy you want to get in the habit of putting on the strike. Now here is Bogut. And that'll be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. Jack for three. Well, he's come out a bit chilly here in the second half. Not nearly as effective as he was in the first. Here's Martin. But they recover it. Here's Felton, and it's sent back by Bogut. Warriors leading by nine. Thompson inside the line. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Smith kicks to jump. Curry with the steal. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Got a hand on it. And that'll be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession for the Knicks. Carmelo Anthony's checked in for Martin. Jason Kidd is subbed in for Iman Shumpert. The Warriors also with a sub. Barnes is checked in. Thompson from long range. Offensive rebound. Taken away by Kidd. And they're on the break. Chandler with the ball. Started now by Barnes. Here's Felton. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. 
That free throw, no good. Jared Jack is checked in for Golden State. Good on the second free throw. Here's Jack. Right side Jack. And it's off from three-point range. He's laboring out there right now, guys. The shot has not been falling for him this quarter. Anthony. Money from the wing. Well, Carmelo belongs in that group of guys who you say, you know, maybe he's the best scorer in the league. He's certainly close. He's right there with Kobe and Dwayne Wade, LeBron, for sure. He's so skilled. He's so strong. And he's just got a knack for getting the ball in the hoop uh, when, the, when the time is right. His ability to do that, Steve, is a big part of why he can get a shot off anytime. I mean, he knows that he doesn't need to, too much space. All he needs is a fracture, and he's able to rise up over guys or go through them. That's good. That's four straight field goals coming inside the paint. Boy, they're taking it right to him, Steve, and the defense has really been way too passive for my life. Now a timeout called by Golden State. He did not look too happy about some of the things he saw on the court. So I would expect some changes here. I think it's the right move, quite honestly. I mean, they just didn't look sharp or at their best out there. So take the timeout and give yourself a chance to regroup. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Mark Jackson said to his club. His message was this. All of us know these guys are capable of exploding and putting up points in a hurry. So I don't want to see anybody letting up until that final whistle blows. Guys, back to you. Jack with the three. Again, the miss by Jack. Nothing's working for him here. He's just really struggling to find the basket. Knicks trail by six to the inside. Here's Anthony. And a great assist by Kidd as that one goes in. Kidd's got his third assist on the night. Bogut drives in. Got it. Good job in the low post. And he's now got... The double-double. Ten points and ten rebounds. Boy, just battled through that initial impact and somehow willed it in. Excellent concentration. That's what you like to see. And here's Felton from the arc. It's rebounded by Golden State. Thirteen points was their biggest lead in the game. And Andrew Bogut, the bucket on the assist by Curry. Curry's got three assists tonight. I like the way they got the ball inside there. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Not the kind of pass you want to be making right there. He's lucky it wasn't stolen. Here's the three. Carmelo Anthony comes up with the rebound. Anthony's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Over Barnes. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Warriors leading by eight. Curry attacking. Uses the drop step. Jack beyond the arc. Felton with some nice D. Looks like he's just trying to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but uh, I don't know about that shot attempt. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. He hits the first one, and that narrows the gap to seven. Second free throw misses. Yeah, a disappointing trip to the line, even though it was just one miss. Now is not the time to be missing free throws. Curry dishes to Bogut. Jack, he's covered by Kidd. Five on the clock. Jack with it. Now Anthony defending. 
And they force the shot clock violation. 13. Come on, Shumpert's checked in for New York. And the Warriors also making a change. Thompson's checked in. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Can't get a much better look than that, though. Sure can't. Not one you'd expect him to miss there. Taken away by Felton. And here we go. Shumpert running it up the court. It's in! Seven seconds left in the fourth. Felton the pass to Kidd. Stolen by Thompson. Well, guys, I honestly thought it was going to be a really close, tight to the end game, being Golden State, uh, because I don't always play with Golden State. And Knicks, I could like boss with the Knicks, because they're Carmelo's cheater in that game. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked it, uh, get a like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.